Book 1, Proposition 9 of Euclid's Elements is a construction proof that focuses on bisecting a given angle. So if we start with an angle, in this case the angle BAC, our goal is to take this angle and cut it in half essentially. Or in other words, we are bisecting it. So to start this proof, what we want to do is to pick a point at random on this line AB. So let's pick a point and we can call it D. And what we want to do is use book one, proposition three, that says if we have two lines of unequal length, that we can cut off a portion of the bigger line equal to the smaller line. So in this case, our small line is AD and our big line is AC. So we want to cut off a point such that A to this point E here is equal to A to D. So in other words, AD is equal to the line AE. And then using postulate one, we can connect those points. Postulate one says that we can draw a straight line between any two points. So we just created DE here. And next, we want to use book one, proposition one, which says that we can construct an equilateral triangle. And we want to do that using the points DE and some third point, which we can call F. So let's draw this triangle. And this triangle is equilateral. So we just created triangle DEF. And then again, we'll use postulate number one to connect the points A and F. So we just created line AF. And from here, we want to notice two separate triangles, the triangle DAF and the triangle EAF. And what we can see is that the line AD and AE are equal. The line DF and EF are equal since this triangle is equilateral. And the two triangles share this third line in common, AF. So basically, they share all the same sides. And we know, due to book one, proposition eight, that if we have two triangles that share all the same sides, then the angles are equal within those triangles. So namely, this angle here is equal to this angle here. So we have that angle DAF is equal to angle EAF. And the goal of this proof, remember, was just to split this big angle BAC into two equal parts, which we have done with these two angles. So that ends our proof. And usually when you end a construction proof, you don't use QED, you use QEF, which stands for quad eret facendium. And it essentially means that which was to have been done. So that ends this construction.